Last weekend's Father's Day celebration was especially sweet for the Cole family of Upper Marlboro. Brandon and Sable Cole are parents of two-year-old Cairo, and they are here to explain. Welcome, you two. Thank you. I'm happy to have you here, Brandon. I want to start with you. I know that you gave your son Cairo a living donor or a living donor liver transplant. Mm -hmm. How was that experience? Um, you know, they, the saying goes, uh, I would do anything for my child. Yeah. And I really put, um, put that in action. <laughs> so, so tell us how this came to be, wh why he needed the, the, the donation and, and how you became his donor. He uh, needed, he had hernia surgery and he was just slow to come to. Mm -hmm. um, he was just under, and it was, he was sedated and he was just a little bit slow to come to. Mm -hmm. And through on the, uh, several, uh, excuse me, going to several doctor's visits, they realized that his liver wasn't functioning as well. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, we had more tests and they realized that it was, you know, failing. Um, yeah. And so. I know as parents to, that had is. to be devastating news. I want to know more so about the Children's Organ Transplant Association, also known as CODA, how they were able to help once you got this diagnosis. Either of you. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> well, so we reached out to CODA. We were given their information from the hospital. Mm -hmm. And we um, spoke with one of their representatives. And they basically explained to us that they help children um, who are going through organ transplants um, financially. So um, it's the greatest blessing. Because that's another concern. Of course, right. you're worried about your son who is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know, your new parents and you're worried about your son and his health, but then also making sure that you can get him this mm -hmm. life-saving treatment. We know the cost of that life-saving transplant can be staggering. So how can families afford it when, when this comes their way? Um, it's, we've, to how it's, it's hard to. Yeah, you gotta figure hard. it out, yeah. yeah. Our bill was pretty, pretty pricey, but um, we, through CODA, we were able to, um, they helped us with, uh, do a program, like, to help them with donations. And yes. so we ran a t-shirt campaign called uh, Victorious One. Okay. And Cairo's name actually means Victorious One. So we had Victorious One, and oh, everyone wow. bought t-shirts from people, our friends, family, coworkers, even people we never even met before. They bought t-shirts too, and just donated um, just donated, but we um, we met our, we almost met our goal. Yeah. Um, we're still, you know, still ongoing, still, yeah, of course. Ongoing, yes. but, and we know yeah. that while transplant improves patients' quality of life, it is not a cure. So tell us about life after the surgery, both for yourself and for Kyra. We see his smile, so <laughs> he looks like he is doing pretty well. Uh, life after surgery is so so far so good. I mean, he had plenty of scares. He has a, a weakened immune system, so mm -hmm. when he has a fever, we have to go to the uh, emergency room. Mm -hmm. um, but we've never had um, he had, never had to get hospital excuse me hospitalized, hospitalized guys yep. again for an extended period of time for, um, involving a liver surgery. So it's just being more aware. And then more how aware. about for you? A lot of times I'm doing fine. Yeah, the, the yeah, yeah asked about the, but... the little one, and that's fine. I, you know, I was a parent. That's fine. But yeah. I'm doing well. I think after my liver has fully uh, regenerated within a year so uh, it maybe said six months to a year so I'm perfectly here I got a cool tattoo on my stomach I could call it yeah. um, but other than that no I'm perfectly fine I'm back to normal just a further bond with your son yeah, I think before the even bond. as you so grow we, up. we'll walk around with our shirts off you know <laughs> showing muscles or whatnot around the house you know so well, the strength yeah. of the entire family I just wanted to ask you too, stable where people can go for more information if they're you know watching this and they know another family that needs support what's that um, website sure it's www.coda.org and um, you can search for Cairo's name so it will be Cairo Cole um, in the search all right I want to thank you both for being here and sharing Cairo's story and your story as well as thank a family you. and we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this stay tuned